Hello everyone, I'm your produce guy. Today we're going to talk about cabbages. Cabbages are a terrific vegetable that can be used in so many different ways. All members of the cabbage family are filled with vitamins C, vitamin K, and vitamin B6. They can be used fresh, steamed, boiled, roasted, any number of ways, including pickled. And we'll get to that in just a little bit. I've got four examples of cabbages for you here today that make a lovely addition to so many things. Green cabbage, I love to use that, well, I, as a kid I used to eat it just raw. I love the crisp texture and it goes great with mustard and I use it as a condiment or a addition to tacos at times uh, as it's chopped up. Coleslaw, of course, and St. Patrick's Day, the boiled cabbage and corned beef is such a traditional dish on St. Patrick's Day. Let's take a closer look at each one of these varieties. The first example of cabbage I've got for you is the standard green cabbage used with corned beef and cabbage. The leaves can be used to wrap and, and stuff and, and bake things. Here is the red cabbage. Most of all you see this shredded up in your salad mixes, but there are lots of other uses for this as well. Thirdly, here is Napa cabbage. This is a Chinese cabbage. It's a great substitute when lettuce prices are high. This is a wonderful use in a salad and, and as a lettuce substitute. Finally, I've got Savoy cabbage here, another uh, Chinese cabbage. And this is one of the primary ingredients in kimchi, that delicious uh, pickled mixture from Asia. With our green cabbage, you want it to be just that, green. No yellowing, no uh, dried out edges on the leaves here. This is a great example of a fresh cabbage. Uh, when they get older, the leaves will start to peel back a little bit or uh, deteriorate. You can tell when it's been sitting around the shop a little bit. The red cabbage, same thing. Nice firm head you want. These edges of the leaves, you know, you can see the color coming right to them. You don't want these darkening at all. That will be a sign that the cabbage is aged. The Savoy cabbage is not going to be as tight as the other head cabbages. You can see it peels back very easily. You want to look for the color. Nice green color on there and hydrated leaves. No, no again, dark edges or dryness out on the corners there. The Napa cabbage, well, these leaves come with a little bit of uh, yellowish, uh, greenish yellow there. Uh, but you want to look on these ribs for bruises or marks where it's been hit. Again, the tips of the leaves will uh, tell you if they're uh, if they've been around a while or not. These leaves look really good, nice and fresh. The head is solid and it is ready to use. Well, there's a quick overview of the different types of cabbages that you find commonly in the grocery store. Now, I want to remind you of our website, yourproduceguy.com, where we've got our videos all cataloged and organized there. If you don't see a video of the product that you're looking for and want more information about, just leave us a comment there and we'll get to it. Thanks so much for being with us today. Hope that uh, this little cabbage tour has been helpful to you. We'll look forward to more uses of these in the future. Thanks for being with us. I am your produce guy, reminding you that fresh is best. We'll see you next time. Hello everyone, I'm your produce guy and today I've got some of my garden fresh tomatoes and we are going to make some pico de gallo. Now that is, pico de gallo is fresh tomato salsa uh, which you can use on top of tacos, uh, burritos, any type, of, uh, any type of application. You can throw it on there. It's just wonderfully fresh and delicious.